big news for you guys today since Bosch has announced a bunch of new products and product updates. One of which is a free power boost upgrade for your CX-5 motor. Uh, and they have a bunch of other stuff. Some are cool, some are not. Here at EMTBR, we're going to help you decipher exactly what this means to you. What's up, everyone? FC here from EMTBR. Spring is upon us. Riding season is here. Just in time, Bosch said the CX-5 motor will get a power boost upgrade, just as we predicted a few weeks ago. And the power upgrade is a boost in torque from 85 newton meters to 100 newton meters. Also, 600 watts to 750 watts. Just a little refresher. Torque is the building block of a power. It's the base output of a motor, and it is what changes your speed. I think it's what's most important. It's what changes your speed. It's what allows you to stay in a higher gear without having to shift gears. It's what gets you up a hill. And uh, power, on the other hand, is what determines your top speed. So it's not quite as important because you know we, we're speed limited on these things. But the relationship is uh, power is equal to torque times RPM plus 2 pi over 60, you know? So I'll give you that formula. So basically, RPM puts, plays a role in the uh, determining of the power. But torque is, you know, that newton meters. Basically, a newton meter is, you know, a newton is actually weight, like a small apple, and a meter uh, is the distance from center. If you put that weight uh, on, the, uh, on the one meter pole, you know, this force that pushes it is one newton meter. So now we have 100. Newton meters. Okay, so what motor does this apply to and how do you get it? It's going to be available in July with a firmware update. You don't have to visit your dealer, you just need that flow up. And uh, lo and behold, in July, you're going to have a slider that goes to 11. It goes from 80, and now it's going to go to 100. So you can have it. It's just like, wow, for free uh, on your existing uh, CX5 bike and I do have like five bikes here in the stable with a CX-5 motor so it, it should just work right like magic wow now what about the CX-4 motor the CX-4 race this guy right here CX-4 race uh, very high-end bike unfortunately no nothing no chance uh, why is that it's because for to get more torque you need bigger magnets and you're like how did this guy get a bigger magnet? What happened is in September 30 of 2024, they introduced a CX-5 motor. It's a whole new motor, new gears, new layout, new magnets. And all they did was they uh, got rid of the rattle, they lost 100 grams, and then changed the bolt pattern. They made all other motors before it incompatible. So people were like, what the heck? Why did you do that? Uh, it was a Trojan horse. It was a Trojan horse. Basically, they did that release to get this motor into your hands, into your bikes, without you knowing there's hidden power underneath. It was to compete with DJI uh, with a lot of power, and they knew the Specialized Gen 4 Levo was coming out with 111 newton meters. So they said, okay, we got to get, get in the game, we got to compete, and uh, so they got this motor. The reason why they didn't release the big power back then is because they had so many orders uh, of the CX-4 uh, and CX-4 race that were yet to be filled, you know? So, so they did their OEM manufacturers a solid by saying, okay, you have six months, uh, sell your bikes, and uh, we won't announce the power boost upgrade, otherwise no one's gonna buy. You know, it's a, it was a tough situation, brought about by the supply chain issues, the product delays, and, and all that. Unfortunately, it's, it comes to the harm of, of some consumers uh, who, who just bought their CX-4, CX-4 race bikes, and they're not gonna get this power boost. Okay, how powerful is it exactly? Uh, how does it compare to that DJI motor? How does it compare to the new Gen 4 uh, Levo? Uh, luckily, so I do my own uh, power testing here uh, in, in my local hills and with power meter pedals, but we're not, I'm not going to get this uh, new motor firmware update till July. So uh, luckily, there is a source uh, in Germany called Velo Motion. Uh, just a bunch of uh, bike journalists with an engineering background, and they do dyno test these motors so the new firmware upgrade is true to form it is about 100 newton meters it's going to be a 15 percent upgrade from their old uh, from the original cx5 to the new cx5 firmware update so it's what they're saying is true and the wattage upgrade is about 25 percent so it's true to form and in their dyno testing it, it, they don't compare to the DJI. The DJI motor, I, they, they say 800 watts, but it's really a lot more. 
Uh, they, I think they're measuring at the wheels. This new CX-5 will now be 685 watts and it's actually more watts than the Gen 4 Levo S-Works, which was about 665. I think the, 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 the Levo motor is more torquey, but it, it peaks out in power a little bit. How does this affect heat management and battery consumption? Let's tackle heat management first. So luckily, VeloMotion has done a test on this where they have it on a dyno. Uh, the, the rider is putting out 200 watts. The motor is putting out 750 watts. Uh, when he was putting out 600 watts before the update, it would take 13 minutes of full boogie, full tilt before the motor would start to cut off and let itself cool. With a new firmware update, it's gonna take eight minutes of full boogie before the motor will start to cut off and, and allow itself to cool off. So possibility, if you're in an uphill time trial uh, with no let up whatsoever, you might experience this cutoff. But in normal riding, this is pretty much uh, very difficult to achieve because every hill you know, has a turn, has a little let up in the grade of the hill. And, and so any kind of let up allows the motor to cool off uh, and not hit this kind of the, the thermal uh, cutoff temperature. Now, what about battery consumption? That battery consumption is definitely going to increase, but not as much as you might think. So the motor can now do 750 watts. Let's say the old battery had 750 watt hours. If this thing was going full boogie, uh, that 750 watt hours will be consumed in exactly one hour. Now, if you had a 600 watt motor, this battery would be consumed in about an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, so definitely there's some consumption differences there. But here's the situation. It's gonna be very rare that you tap the full power of the motor, you know? Most likely you'll be on auto mode or EMTB mode where it's tapping into it every once in a while, okay? So the more you hit that 750, the more you increase your battery consumption. Okay, the other key product announcement from Bosch is that now they have a new display. Finally, they have the Kiox 400C, and it is a full-featured, beautiful display, full color, very bright, a thousand mips of brightness, so you can see it in sunlight. And uh, it has a USB-C port as well, so you can charge your other devices. Uh, and it, it is finally world-class. You know, it looks like the DJI display, and it's better than the Gen 4 Levo display. It is like 100 times better than their old display, which was just a five light system. And what's really cool too, as they put in this Trojan horse with the CX-5 motor, they were all required to have this kind of a placeholder, uh, kind of a, a host, a nest. And I predict that, you know, bikes starting to sell in July will have the firmware inside with 100 new meters and the new display. Only makes sense, right? All right, what about the other announcements by Bosch. So their big announcement is the new CX race motor. So it's the CX-5 with a race CX, you know, CX race 5, 6, 5 race. So that one is exactly the six, CX-4 race, but it'll have that 100 newton meters. It'll have a titanium spindle right here. It'll have ceramic bearings. It'll be 100 grams lighter than the, than the CX-5. And is that a big deal? Really? No. I mean, I have this motor. Uh, the CX-4 race, and it's not, I don't really use race mode. If you're racing, yes, because what the big difference, the 100-gram difference does not make a difference at all. You know, it's like, yeah, ceramic variance, yeah. Now, one handy feature it, ha it has is within like two pedal strokes from a uh, corner, a slow corner, boom, I'm up to full power. So much easier to access power. That thing is kind of handy, but really, uh, this thing, you can access power very easily. And uh, unless you're racing, it's not a huge deal. Okay, the next announcement they have is they have coast shifting. Where's my derailleur? So it's on the other side. So coast shifting is they have a development with TRP to have automatic shifting. And automatic shifting is, you know, it, it, it doesn't quite work yet. So they didn't really announce it. What they announced is coast shifting, which is kind of cool, which is when you, um, when you go on top of a hill, you're on a low gear, as you're coasting down, you know, rallying around, the, shift, the bike is downshifting for you. It'll spin the motor and it'll shift for you. But it is, it is a kind of handy gimmick, but you do have to use that TRP 
you know, this it's it's a lot of trouble for what it's worth, in, in my opinion. You, but it's a glimpse into the future, and hopefully they can get automatic shifting uh, working fluidly with uh, you know for beginner intermediate riders. And then finally, they announced new systems with their ABS shifting, more more development, and and really for me, that's that's a no for me, dog. <laughs> They're just kind of developing this. It's kind of kind of like self driving. It's gonna take many iterations. Uh, of a technology we might want in five years, but right now, like, no, nah, no, nah, that's a lot of uh, materials and uh, engineering for what it's worth. So there you go, my friends. Uh, I've, I've been predicting it, and I kind of been I've, been, I've been telling my friends, you know, get the CX-5 motor. The CX-4 is a good motor. It has a little rattle, but it, you know, it. Uh, I'm, it's, this is my own personal bike now. It's got my name on it. But really, the uh, the CX-5 it really puts it, you know, right into the competitive landscape with uh, the Gen 4 uh, Levo, and you know, it kind of makes the Gen 4 Levo uh, look bad because it doesn't have ha not, because it was downgraded in power compared to the the S Works Gen 4 Levo. Uh, this will this will kind of supersede uh, both of them. Uh, the DJI motor, very cool motor. I have nothing bad to say about it but it's not in the US yet. You know, there's no support in the US. We have a DJI bike here. We, we're just careful not to break it because if we break it, there's, they're not gonna get, send us any parts. They're not gonna fix it. Uh, so I think it's gonna be 2026, really, till we have any kind of uh, support uh, and uh, viability for the DJI motor in the USA. So there you go, my friends. I hope that has been helpful to you guys.